So I'm having problems with my Dell XPS 13, which is, I don't know, just a little more than a year old. You can see I've got this flashing orange uh, light of doom. So the battery indicator says there's 95% available. It always says there's 95% available, but look what happens when I unplug the power boom it shuts off hitting this F2 while it's booting up will get you into a it says bias mode it's a diagnostic mode and what you can see from there is just basically an overview but what I think our problem is is right here where it says battery battery state idle health battery needs to be replaced. So there is some controversy about whether you can just unplug the battery or not. I ordered a new battery. We'll try the unplugging thing, but let me show you how to replace that battery. You want to choose carefully where you get your battery from. I'll uh, show you which one I got because uh, if you look in the details, even though a, a lot of them say they're compatible, then Further down, it says they're not compatible with the two and one, and this is this is the one that flips all the way over. So the battery that I did get um, claims to be it was more expensive, but it claims to be compatible with that. Here's what you get. This one also included the tools that you need in order to um, open the case and. Here's the battery. Yeah. So let's go about putting this in. Alright, I'm going to use the tool that's included here. Just take these screws off the back. Little teeny tiny torque screws. Once you get the screws off, you should be able to use this little pry bar, get in with that seam, and there's some clips inside here, and I think if you just run this along here and carefully pry it, you should be able to open it up. All right, you can see the, the battery itself is screwed in at these tabs with little Phillips screwdrivers. And You know what? Now I'm looking at this now, and actually this battery doesn't line up at all with the old battery. You can see there are mounting holes. Well, it's first of all, it's too wide. Well, yeah too wide so it's going to hit over here these screw holes are not in the right spot uh, this isn't the right battery one star review geez as long as I've come this far I'm gonna just take this battery out so I can order the right one get all the screws out it should just lift out looks like yeah this one is connected up here which is different than how the battery I got is set so that this one's actually a star so we're going to just take that out now you 
should be able to just unplug it here and remove this battery. I want to show you that I have the Dell XPS 137390, which says it's compatible right here. Further down, it says it's compatible with Dell XPS 7390 2 and 1, which is what I have. Well, definitely isn't. I ended up just ordering a battery from Dell. It's not even on their website, but I just didn't trust that the third party sellers are going to do uh, get me the right battery. This was the one that was supposed to be right, and it clearly wasn't. This one is. You can see the easy way to tell is this has got its power plug kind of on the right side in the middle, and on this one it's on the extreme left side. It's also got these cutouts here which are a little different so it's clearly a different battery um, that's the easy way to if you can look at a picture of what's being sold you can tell that whether it's the right battery or not so we're gonna put this in but first we got to transfer over these little components that were that are in this battery I don't know what they do this is uh, one important thing I just about screwed up so under the there's a star screw here torques and when you take it off there's actually a little plate underneath there with some copper contacts on it so i'm going to take this off and this little plate here will actually just come out so you don't want to lose that i had it heard something rattling around in there and uh, and found that so it's just got some small copper dots on it to make sure that this oops there goes that screw to make sure that this con this thing is making good contact with the body of the computer so um, that will line up with some little dots in here and it all sort of fits in place when it is properly engaged so I'm gonna take now these components off here 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 and put them over here. I assume they just push out. Okay. So we're gonna take this little thing and I'm gonna put it so that it fits in those two holes. Now we can put this in here and that will go make sure it goes in. there's two um, posts I guess and I, suspo I suspect that if you don't get it in there this screw won't be long enough so screw that in here's just something to think about see where it says M1.6 uh, times 3 I suspect that's 1.6 millimeters and 3 millimeters but those are the shorter of these Phillips screws not not this one which is longer but these shorter ones here, and that's really important because if you put a longer one in, it's gonna end up going through something that you don't want it to go through. So all the screws are marked all around it, way around, so it, it makes it pretty easy. Oh, here you can see this is a 1.6, but this one up here is different. That's uh, 1.2 by four, so that one's <laughs> smaller but longer. So make sure you get the right screws in the right place. Looks like I got all the screws are gone now and all the holes seem to be filled, so that's good. This will just snap back on here. Like it clipped back in place. I'm going to plug it in first and just make sure that so this light up here has been flashing orange. Let's see if that changes. Okay. 
now it's a white light, you can't really see it, but it's not flashing orange. So let me put the screws back in. I think we're all good now. Uh, put the screws back in, give it a try. Okay, let it charge for a little bit. And we're up and running again. Guess that was it. Okay, easy, easy fix. Just make sure you get the right battery. That was a uh, was a little bit more than a hundred dollars from Dell.